Aquarius, what's going on with you guys? I hope you are doing lovely. This is going to be a weekly reading from the 3rd through the 9th of June, ladies and gents. Let's get five shuffles. What's going on with Aquarians in their love life? Let's get two more shuffles. What's going on with Aquarians? All right. All right, Aquarius. Wow, well, this is a very positive omen. Let me tell you what I'm seeing. You could have been dealing with a situation, an individual, this could have been you, that was invulnerable. So this invulnerability could have been a mutual thing. I'm gonna tap into your energy and your person's energy in just a moment. However, I am seeing an element of invulnerability that was being experienced. It could still be the moment for some of you. However, that, it's, that in itself is being worked on. Okay, there's a change. There's, some, there's a focus going on and opening up that that uh that heart all right and that leads us to the ten of cups which is fulfillment ladies and gents it is fulfillment now let's see what's going on why is this what's with this energy that aquarius is experiencing this four of coins there we go justice well clearly something here needed to balance out there was with the devil being here at the bottom of the deck could have been dealing with a Capricorn. Nevertheless, I am seeing that there was a, an injustice here. Something here was on balance. And because of this lack of balance, I feel that you and whomever it is that you were dealing with were just not seeing eye to eye with one another. You guys weren't just flowing when it comes to that exchange, that energy exchange. You guys were closed off. And just got I just got the sense that this was a protective mechanism. All right. However, whomever it is that you're dealing with, you do have a significant amount of chemistry with this individual. There is there is a connection here between you guys. I, that's something that I, I feel you guys could clarify yourselves. All right. Now, tell me more about this. Um, four. Yeah, it's slow moving. So this situation was going to come to balance. Always. It was never going to be left in any, you know, in any dreadful way. It was just a matter of time till things got better. I feel that there was more factors here than just an individual taking action to rectify a situation. Although someone here, whether it was you or your person, again, we're getting a lot of earth energy. This individual came forth as the king or rather the knight of coins, which is a very slow and progressive moving energy, but that's the key term, progressive. All right, so I feel like this individual just they didn't have what it what was necessary to just come forward essentially all right they were dealing with whatever it is that they had to they were taking their they were moving at their own pace yeah they're the ten of wands the strength card they were going through difficulty ladies and gents again this could be you this could be the person you're dealing with someone here was carrying some serious weight that was basically burdening them and this was unnecessary it's like they were making their life harder and due to that they were dragging their feet towards bringing about change within the situation. All right. But the effort was always there. Now, what's going on with this eight of coins? This eight of coins is all about working diligently on a project, putting effort, putting effort on building the relationship, putting effort on putting your best foot forward when it comes to approaching love. All right. Tell me more. What's with this eight? Two of swords. Interesting. Why the two swords? Why is the two swords here? <clears throat> the hermit. Yeah, someone here had some serious inner work to do. All right, some serious inner work. So I see what's happening here. We got Sagittarian energy, Virgo energy. However, what I am seeing is that an individual had to undergo a process where they were doing a lot of self work. They just didn't see clearly, possibly because of the, this weight that I was just talking about, all right, and due to this, due to going through this experience, they just, they're just in a place of uncertainty, in a place of doubtfulness when it comes to the relationship, and they retreated, a very well-needed retreat, a very well-needed inner retreat is what I'm seeing here, all right, and with that said, through this retreat, this individual did work, the temperance, they did that work. They found that balance within themselves. And that's what leads us to the Ten of Cups. This is going to be interesting to tap into when I look into both of you guys' energy. All right. Let's... Ten of Cups. The Magician. 
10, 1 plus 0 equals 1, which is the magician. Someone's coming forward. They're going to be communicating. They're going to be expressing themselves. Someone here is professing their love. There's going to be a, a notable amount of uh, happiness that's going to come from this communication. Someone here is manifesting love flat out. All right. And the reason being is because they are now ready. Whomever it is that retreated, whomever it is that was having a difficult time with the situation, looking at the situation with clarity, doubting themselves in regards to, you know, how to work on the relationship, etc. That person is coming around, built up, empowered, and coming forward with this manifestation energy of the magician to bring about this Ten of Cups. Interesting. What is Aquarius's energy in the midst of the situation? What is Aquarius's energy in the midst of this situation? What's going on, Aquarius? All right. Jesus, that's not a good energy. Look. You know that you have potential with this situation, but for whatever reason, I, I get the indication that you're just not giving it attention. You're turning your back on it. You're just, and even if you aren't giving or turning your back on it, it's like you're treating it completely inadequately when it comes to treating it with the, with the necessary that's required to attain its maximum potential, if that makes sense. So it's like the relationship is of something high value, yet your actions are not aligned with the with the degree of value that this relationship possesses. All right, I know that probably sounds really complicated. Uh, if it is, I'll oh, tell me and I'll I'll uh, speak. I'll speak simpler. Anyways, let's go. Why is the seven? Of, why is the seven of swords here? Why is the seven of swords here? The wheel of fortune. This is something that's bound to change, ladies and gents. All right, well, I'm, I just got the indication that this situation, whatever it is that you guys are dealing with, is something that is necessary for this relationship to come to a realization of the potential of it. How paradoxical is that? How intricate is that circle? It's like you guys had to go through this isolation, through this invulnerability, through this uh, doubtfulness and all this so that you can come to some sort of realization and then come forward and bring about the necessary change to the relationship. What the greater universe is, is also within us. As above, so below. As below, so above. This principle is a master key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe, showing us that everything is interconnected and reflective of a grand universal order. Wow. Interesting. The card of marriage at the bottom of the deck. Four of wands. All right, guys. <clears throat> Moving along. What's your person's energy? What is your person, whomever it is that Aquarius is connecting with, what is their energy toward Aquarius? Let's see. The Knight of... The Knight of Swords. This individual here is wanting to communicate something. They're, they... I really get the sense that they're very passionate towards a certain goal that they're that they want to attain with you that they want to attain with you i saved it that they want to attain with you ladies and gents and it's kind of i'm getting this energy it's like they may be kind of forceful with it all right not that they're gonna force you to do anything but it's more so with their actions i'm not getting too much of a uh, of such a soothing energy from this person but they want to come forth they want to come forth, ladies and gents. All right, look at it. We got the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Swords. I'm just going to reiterate what I said. They want to come forth and they want to communicate with you. All right. This is the communication itself. I feel that they have the best intention. I feel that they are trying to be kindred. So even if they don't come off as kindred and they come off a bit abrasive, Aquarius, keep that in mind. This individual is attempting to be kindred. All right. They are attempting to be kind. But that may just, they may represent themselves in not that way. All right. <clears throat> All right, Aquarius, there you are at the bottom of the deck, ladies and gents. Any words of wisdom for Aquarius when it comes to this relationship? Anything that will facilitate them bringing clarity or any form of guidance when it comes to this situation? Ooh, the devil, ladies and gents. All right. The devil. Let me tell you about the devil. All right. Basically, I feel that you and your individual have undergone something, all right, in the past. 
And it's now time to change things, or at least the opportunity to turn things around is coming about. All right, if it hasn't, it is going to. Now, this devil energy seems to still be lingering within your energy. And you got to keep in mind that if you, if this opportunity is coming back around, all right, and you are triggered or are you your mate, you're making this, you're painting it in a negative light. Know that it's coming from an attachment of the past, an attachment that you could be projecting onto the present of the relationship, because you got to keep in mind that the relationship it coming back around is not the same relationship that it used to be in the past. All right. So keep that in mind. You have the opportunity to cultivate something new, something different. Although it's with the same individual, it could be something different. Now, this devil energy talks about it's a warning not to project your past attachments, negative attachments onto the present moment. Okay. Guys, I'm going to be taking this to the extended. I'm going to be focusing on your individual. I'm going to be looking at their actions, their feelings, their intentions towards you, as well as the trajectory of what lies in the near future for this relationship. If you're interested, the link will be in the description. Otherwise, I'll see you guys.